Kathakali Malayalam, Kathakali is one of the major forms of classical Indian dance. It is a story play genre of art, but one distinguished by the elaborately colorful makeup, costumes, and face masks that the traditionally male actor dancers wear. Kathakali is a Hindu performance art in the Malayalam speaking southwestern region of India. Kerala. Kathakali's roots are unclear. The fully developed style of Kathakali originated around the 17th century, but its roots are in the temple and folk arts, such as Kutiyattam and religious drama of the southwestern Indian peninsula, which are traceable to at least the first millennium CE. A Kathakali performance, like all classical dance arts of India, synthesizes music, vocal performers, choreography and hand and facial gestures together to express ideas. However, Kathakali differs in that it also incorporates movements from ancient Indian martial arts and athletic traditions of South India. Kathakali also differs in that the structure and details of its art form developed in the courts and theatres of Hindu principalities, unlike other classical Indian dances which primarily developed in Hindu temples and monastic schools. The traditional themes of the Kathakali are folk mythologies, religious legends, and spiritual ideas from the Hindu epics and the Puranas. The vocal performance has traditionally been performed in Sanskritized Malayalam. In modern compositions, Indian Kathakali troops have included women artists, as well as adapted Western stories and plays such as those by Shakespeare. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> and nomenclature The term Kathakali is derived from Katha, Sanskrit, katha which means story, or a conversation, or a traditional tale", and Kali from Kala, Kala which means, "...performance and art". <laughs> <laughs> History Elements and aspects of Kathakali can be found in ancient Sanskrit texts such as the Natya Shastra. The Natya Shastra is attributed to sage Bharata, and its first complete compilation is dated to between 200 BCE and 200 CE, but estimates vary between 500 BCE and 500 CE. The most studied version of the Natya Shastra text consists of about 6,000 verses structured into 36 chapters. The text, states Natalia Lidova, describes the theory of Tandava dance Shiva, the theory of rasa, of bhava, expression, gestures, acting techniques, basic steps, standing postures, all of which are part of Indian classical dances including Kathakali. Dance and performance arts, states this ancient Hindu text, are a form of expression of spiritual ideas, virtues and the essence of scriptures. The roots of Kathakali are unclear. Jones and Ryan state it is more than 500 years old. Kathakali emerged as a distinct genre of performance art during the 16th and 17th centuries in a coastal population of South India that spoke Malayalam now Kerala. The roots of Kathakali, states Mahinda Singh, are more ancient and some 1,500 years old. Links to older performance arts, Kutiyattam and Krishnanatam According to Farley Richmond and other scholars, Kathakali shares many elements such as costumes with ancient Indian performance arts such as Kutiyattam classical Sanskrit drama and medieval era Krishnanatam, even though a detailed examination shows differences. Kutiyattam, adds Richmond, is one of the oldest continuously performed theatre forms in India, and it may well be the oldest surviving art form of the ancient world." Kutiyattam, traditionally, was performed in theatres specially designed and attached to Hindu temples, particularly dedicated to the Shiva and later to Krishna. The designs of these theatres usually matched the dimensions and architecture recommended as ideal in the ancient Natya Shastra, and some of them could house 500 viewers. Krishnanadam is the likely immediate precursor of Kathakali, states Zarili. 
Krishnanadam is dance drama art form about the life and activities of Hindu god Krishna, that developed under the sponsorship of Sri Manavadan Raja, the ruler of Calicut the traditional legend states that Kotarakara Temparan also known as Veera Kerala Varma, requested the services of a Krishnanadam troop, but his request was denied. So Kotarakara Temparan created another art form based on Krishnanadam, called it Ramanadam because the early plays were based on the Hindu epic Ramayana, which over time diversified beyond Ramayana and became popular as Kathakali. Another related performance art is Ashtapadiyadam, a dance drama based on the Gita Govinda of the 12th century poet Jayadeva, told the story of Krishna embodied as a humble cowherd, his consort Radha, and three cowgirls. Kathakali also incorporates several elements from other traditional and ritualistic art forms like Mudiyetu, Tayam and Padayani besides folk arts such as Porochunatakam that shares ideas with the Tamil Terakuthu tradition. The South Indian martial art of Kalaripiyatu has also influenced Kathakali. Despite the links, Kathakali is different from temple driven arts such as Krishnanatam. Kuti Adam and others because unlike the older arts where the dancer actor also had to be the vocal artist, Kathakali separated these roles allowing the dancer actor to excel in and focus on choreography while the vocal artists focused on delivering their lines. Kathakali also expanded the performance repertoire, style and standardized the costume making it easier for the audience to understand the various performances and new plays. Repertoire Kathakali is structured around plays called Atakatha literally, enacted story, written in Sanskritized Malayalam. These plays are written in a particular format that helps identify the «action» and the «dialogue» parts of the performance. The shloka part is the metrical verse, written in third person, often entirely in Sanskrit, describing the action part of the choreography. The pada part contains the dialogue part. These Adikatha texts grant considerable flexibility to the actors to improvise. Historically, all these plays were derived from Hindu texts such as the Ramayana, the Mahabharata, and the Bhagavata Purana. A Kathakali repertoire is an operatic performance where an ancient story is playfully dramatized. Traditionally, a Kathakali performance is long, starting at dusk and continuing through dawn, with interludes and breaks for the performers and audience. Some plays continued over several nights, starting at dusk every day. Modern performances are shorter. The stage with seating typically in open grounds outside a temple, but in some places, special theatres called Kutumpalam built inside the temple compounds have been in use. The stage is mostly bare, or with a few drama related items. One item, called a Kalivilaku, Kali meaning dance, Vilaku meaning lamp, can be traced back to Kutyatam. In both traditions, the performance happens in the front of a huge kalavilaku with its thick wick sunk in coconut oil, burning with a yellow light. Traditionally, before the advent of electricity, this special large lamp provided light during the night. As the play progressed, the actor dancers would gather around this lamp so that audience could see what they are expressing. The performance involves actor dancers in the front, supported by musicians in the background stage on right, audiences left, and with vocalists in the front of the stage, historically so they could be heard by the audience before the age of microphone and speakers. Typically, all roles are played by male actor dancers, though in modern performances, women have been welcomed into the Kathakali tradition. Costumes Of all classical Indian dances, Kathakali has the most elaborate costuming consisting of head dresses, face masks and vividly painted faces. It typically takes several evening hours to prepare a Kathakali troupe to get ready for a play. 
Costumes have made Kathakali's popularity extend beyond adults, with children absorbed by the colors, makeup, light, and sound of the performance. The makeup follows an accepted code that helps the audience easily identify the archetypical characters such as gods, goddesses, demons, demonesses, saints, animals, and characters of a story. Seven basic makeup types are used in Kathakali, namely Pachcha green, Pazhapu ripe, Kathi knife, Kari thadi, Minuku and Tepu. These vary with the styles and the predominant colors made from rice paste and vegetable colors that are applied on the face. Pachcha green with lips painted brilliant coral red portrays noble characters and sages such as Krishna, Vishnu, Rama, Shiva, Surya, Yudhishthira, Arjuna, Nala and philosopher kings. Tati red is the code for someone with an evil streak such as Ravana, Dushasana and Hiranyakashipu. Some characters have green face representing heroic or excellences as a warrior with red dots or lines on their cheeks or red colored mustache or red streaked beard representing evil in a nature while others have full face and beard colored red the latter implying excessively evil characters Kari black is the code for forest dwellers hunters and middle ground character Demonesses and treacherous characters are also painted black but with streaks or patches of red. Yellow is the code for monks, mendicants, and women. Minaka, radiant, shining with a warm yellow, orange, or saffron typifies noble, virtuous feminine characters such as Sita, Panchali, and Mahini. Men who act the roles of women also add a false top knot to their left and decorate it in a style common to the region. Vela Tardi white beard represents a divine being, someone with virtuous inner state and consciousness such as Hanuman. Tepu are for special characters found in Hindu mythologies, such as Garuda, Jatayu and Hamsa who act as messengers or carriers, but do not fit the other categories. Face masks and head gear is added to accentuate the inner nature of the characters. The garment's colors have a similar community accepted code of silent communication. The character types, states Zarili, reflect the guna theory of personalities in the ancient Samya school of Hindu philosophy. There are three gunas, according to this philosophy, that have always been and continue to be present in all things and beings in the world. These three gunas are sattva goodness, constructive, harmonious, virtuous, rajas passion, aimless action, dynamic, egoistic, and tamas darkness, destructive, chaotic, viciousness. All of these three gunas good, evil, active are present in everyone and everything, it is the proportion that is different, according to Hindu worldview. The interplay of these gunas defines the character of someone or something, and the costumes and face coloring in Katha Kali often combines the various color codes to give complexity and depth to the actor dancers. <laughs> Acting Like many classical Indian arts, Katha Kali is choreography as much as it is acting. It is said to be one of the most difficult styles to execute on stage, with young artists preparing for their roles for several years before they get a chance to do it on stage. The actors speak a sign language, where the word part of the character's dialogue are expressed through hand signs, mudras", while emotions and mood is expressed through facial and eye movements. In parallel, vocalists in the background sing rhythmically the play, matching the beats of the orchestra playing, thus unifying the ensemble into a resonant oneness. Several ancient Sanskrit texts, such as Natya Shastra and Hasthalik Shanadipika, discuss hand gestures or mudras. Katha Kali follows the Hasthalik Shanadipika most closely. Unlike other classical dances of India, there are 24 main mudras, and numerous more minor ones in Katha Kali. There are nine facial expressions called Navarasas, which each actor masters through facial muscle control during his education, in order to express the emotional state of the character in the play. The theory behind the Navarasas is provided by classical Sanskrit texts such as Natya Shastra, but sometimes with different names, and these are found in other classical Indian dances as well. 
The nine Navarasas express nine bhava emotions in Katha Kali as follows: Sringara expresses rati, love, pleasure, delight; Hasya expresses hasa, comic, laugh, mocking; Karuna expresses shoka, pathetic, sad; Raudra expresses krodha, anger, fury; Veera expresses utsaha, vigor, enthusiasm, heroic; Bayanaka expresses baya, fear, concern, worry; Bhavatsa expresses jagupsa, disgust, repulsive; Adbhuta expresses vis. Maya, wondrous, marvel, curious, and Shanta expresses Sama, peace, tranquility. Topic <inaudible> sequence. A Kathakali performance typically starts with artists tuning their instruments and warming up with beats, signaling to the arriving audience that the artists are getting ready and the preparations are on. The repertoire includes a series of performances. First comes the Totayam and Purupatu performances, which are preliminary pure abstract dances that emphasize skill and pure motion. Totayam is performed behind a curtain and without all the costumes, while Purupatu is performed without the curtain and in full costumes. The expressive part of the performance, which constitutes the dance drama, is split into four ties: Kalasam, major and most common; Arati, special, used with battles related sempata rhythm; Tonkaram, similar to Arati but different music; and Nalamirati, used for exits or link between the chapters of the play. Entrance of characters onto the Katha. Kali stage can be varied. Many of these ways are not found in other major Indian classical dance traditions. Katha Kali employs several methods, one direct without special effects or curtain, two through the audience, a method that engages the audience, led by torch bearers since Katha Kali is typically a night performance, three tease and suspense called Noku or Tirasila or Tiranoku, where the character is slowly revealed by the use of a curtain. The tease method is typically used for characters with hidden, dangerous intentions. Topic. Songs and musical instruments The play is in the form of verses that are metered and lyrical, sung by vocalists whose voice has been trained to various melodies raga, music and synchronized with the dance acting on the stage. The vocalists not only deliver the lines, but help set the context and express the inner state of the character by modulating their voice. For example, anger is expressed by the use of sharp high voice and pleading is expressed by the use of a tired tone. Music is central to a Kathakali performance. It sets the mood and triggers emotions resonant with the nature of the scene. It also sets the rhythm to which the actor dancers perform the choreography and scenes. Some major musical patterns, according to Clifford and Betty, that go with the moods and content of the scene are, sempata most common and default that applies to a range of moods, in battles and fights between good and evil, also to conclude a scene, camper music depict tension, dispute, disagreement between lovers or competing ideas, pankari for odious, preparatory such as sharpening a sword, triputa thought -provoking, scenes involving sages and teachers, atanta scenes in involving kings or divine beings, Muri Atanta musical style for comic, light-hearted, or fast-moving scenes involving heroic or anger-driven activity, many musical instruments are used in Kathakali. Three major drums found are madalam barrel-shaped, center cylindrical drum played with curved sticks and itaka idaka, hourglass-shaped drum with muted and melodious notes played when female characters perform. Topic: Traditional plays. Over 500 Kathakali plays, exist, most of which were written before the 20th century. Of these, about four dozen are most actively performed. These plays are sophisticated literary works, states Zarili, and only five authors have written more than two plays. The late 17th century Unnayi Varya, in his short life, produced four plays which are traditionally considered the most expressive of the Kathakali playwrights. Typically, his four plays are performed on four nights, and they relate to the mythical Hindu love story of Nala and Damayanti. 
The Nala Damanyanti story has roots in the texts of 1st millennium BCE, and is found in the Mahabharata, but the Kathakali play version develops the characters, their inner states, the emotions and their circumstances far more than the older texts. A tradition Kathakali play typically consists of two interconnected parts, the third-person shlokas and first-person padams. The shlokas are in Sanskrit and describe the action in the scene, while padams are dialogues in Malayalam for the actors to interpret and play. A padam consists of three parts, a palavi refrain, anupalavi subrefrain, and karanam foot, all of which are set to one of the ancient ragas musical mode, based on the mood and context as outlined in ancient Sanskrit texts such as the Natya Shastra. In historic practice of a play performance, each padam was enacted twice by the actor while the vocalist sang the lines repeatedly as the actor dancer played his role out. The traditional plays were long, many written to be performed all night, some such as those based on the Ramayana and the Mahabharata written to be performed for many sequential nights. However, others such as the Pralada Karitam have been composed so that they can be performed within four hours. Modern productions have extracted parts of these legendary plays, to be typically performed within three to four hours. <laughs> Offshoots and modern adaptations Kathakali is still practiced in its traditional Hindu ways and there are experimental plays based on European classics and Shakespeare's plays. Recent productions have adapted stories from other cultures and mythologies, such as those of Miguel de Cervantes, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe and William Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Styles, Sampradayam Kathakali has lineages or distinctive schools of play interpretation and dance performance called Sampradayam. These developed in part because of the Gurukul system of its transmission from one generation to the next. By the 19th century, many such styles were in vogue in Malayalam speaking communities of South India, of which two major styles have crystallized and survived into the modern age. The Kittingore style is one of the two, that developed in Travancore, and it is strongly influenced by Kutiyadam, while also drawing elements of Ramanadam and Kaladikotan. It is traditionally attributed to Nalanani, under the patronage of Utram Tirunal Maharaja (1815–1861). The Kaluvaji style is second of the two, which developed in Palakkada Olapamanamana in central Kerala, and it is a synthesis of the older Kaplingadan and Kaladikotan performance arts. It is traditionally attributed to Unniri Panikkar, in a Brahmin household tilde 1850, and became the dominant style established in Kerala Kalamandalam, a school of performance arts. <laughs> Training centers and awards Kathakali has traditionally been an art that has continued from one generation to the next through a guru-disciples based training system. Artist families tended to pick promising talent from within their own extended families, sometimes from outside the family, and the new budding artist typically stayed with his guru as a student and treated like a member of the family. The guru provided both the theoretical and practical training to the student, and the disciple would accompany the guru to formal performances. In modern times, professional schools train students of Kathakali, with some such as those in Trivandrum Maji school emphasizing a single teacher for various courses, while others such as the Kerala Kalamandalam school wherein students learn subjects from different teachers. Kathakali schools are now found all over India, as well as in parts of the Western Europe and the United States. A typical Kathakali training center auditions for students, examining health and physical fitness necessary for the aerobic and active stage performance, the body flexibility, sense of rhythm, and an interview to gauge how sincere the student is in performance arts. A typical course work in Kathakali emphasizes physical conditioning and daily exercises, yoga and body massage to tone the muscles and sculpt the growing body, along with studies and dance practice. 
Per ancient Indian tradition, young students continue to start their year by giving symbolic gifts to the guru, such as a few coins with beetle leaves, while the teacher gives the student a loin cloth, a welcome and blessings. Kathakali is still hugely male dominated, but since the 1970s, women have made entry into the art form on a recognizable scale. The central Kerala temple town of Tripunathura has a ladies' troupe with members belonging to several parts of the state who perform Kathakali, by and large in Travancore. <laughs> <laughs> Awards for Kathakali artists Sangeet Natak Akademi Awardees, Kathakali <laughs> Nambisan Smarika Awards — for artistic performances related Kathakali 1992 International Center for Kathakali Award <laughs> <laughs> Dance forms related to Kathakali The theory and foundations of Kathakali are same as other major classical Indian dances, traceable to Sanskrit texts such as the Natya Shastra, but the expression style in each is very different and distinctive. Kathakali is different from a similar sounding Kuttak, though both are Indian classical dance traditions of story play, wherein the stories have been traditionally derived from the Hindu epics and the Puranas. Kuttak is an ancient performance art that emerged in North India, with roots in travelling bards retelling mythical and spiritual stories through dance acting. Kuttak traditionally has included female actor dancers, unlike Kathakali which has traditionally been performed by an all-male troupe. Kuttak deploys much simpler costumes, makeup and no face masks. Both dance forms employ choreography, face and hand gestures traceable to the Natya Shastra, but Kuttak generally moves around a straight leg and torso movements, with no martial art leaps and jumps like Kathakali. Kuttak uses the stage space more, and does not typically include separate vocalists. Both deploy a host of similar traditional Indian musical instruments. Kathakali style, costume rich, musical drama are found in other cultures. For example, the Japanese no neng integrates masks, costumes and various props in a dance-based performance, requiring highly trained actors and musicians. Emotions are primarily conveyed by stylized gestures while the costumes communicate the nature of the characters in a no performance, as in Kathakali. In both, costumed men have traditionally performed all the roles including those of women in the play. The training regimen and initiation of the dance actors in both cultures have many similarities. Kabuki, another Japanese art form, has similarities to Kathakali. Jingju, a Chinese art of dance acting, Zhao, like Kathakali, presents artists with elaborate masks, costumes, and colorfully painted faces. Topic. See also. Bharatanatyam Kutik Mahiniyatam Notes <laughs> <laughs>